man, it is the lyricist. He's about to kill his performance tonight, man. So, look forward to hear that BC. a poet, a writer, and that's how I started music. I was born in Zerast in 94. I lived in a small village called Mohoba for like until 1999 after my little sister was born. And then after that we moved to a small village called Matau in Rustenburg. And that's where I grew up. My parents were a fan of music. Um, they used to listen to R&B and soul music a lot, so that's why I picked up music and you know they used to support me in everything I do, they used to buy cassettes and DVDs of our favorite artists, I used to listen to um, Aliyah a lot because mostly it was R&B, uh, but then uh, my brother introduced me to hip hop, he used to listen to Tupac, 50 Cent, and Eminem a lot. So, yeah, that's how I started uh, getting into hip hop. Man. Growing up in Mata was a bit tough for me, you know, because it's just like any other village. You have to find something to do as a person to stay out of trouble, you know, all of that bullshit. So, yeah, I had to find something to do, like a hobby. Because I remember in high school we used to do like freestyle sessions But you know, I never used to really take part in it I just be there to observe uh, Niggas rapping, you know They would also do it like good coding or goshi ba So I was like, okay, this is what niggas do, this is interesting But I'm not a freestyler, I like to write, you know Good morning world we live on Radio 175.4 Yeah, it's Fix at it again I'm so obsessed with a paycheck Make a love to the money like it's a new So obsessed with a paycheck Make a love to the money like it's a new So yeah, I remember one day Stain, Stain Beats You should know him or you will Um, yeah, he challenged me to write a verse for him so I took out uh, a script, wrote a verse, like two pages, he gave it to Lyric the Future and then Lyric was like, hey yo, if you took people's lyrics, put them together to make a song, that's not gonna work. I was like, I didn't do that man. I was like, okay, you can check for yourself, he checked it and then came to me after two hours, I was like, Dog, I have like a beat for you, but it's a downloaded beat. So, yeah, from that beat, I remember I wrote a song called Love Love. You know, this was back in 2011, and it's still my own tone today. That song. Hey, what's up, Tobana? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Hey, come from West Rand, West Side, West Side. I got, I got, I got uh, my homeboy Fix with the two pack t shirt. Let's see if it's the How my, my schoolmates knew I could like rap or like write was because I had like music in my phone, you know, music that I did with um, Aki and Kin uh, back in 2011, you know, I remember we, we did like 
a few songs together and they were the first niggas that I got into the studio with and jumped on a beat with. So yeah, I had a few songs so you know I used to play for people during break time or lunch time, sports, you know. I didn't really participate in sports. I I was just like bumping my music. Guess I mean. Anyway, <laughs> the I guess man the, the the tricky part about you know starting your own thing and going in from the bottom is that um you learn everything as you go. You know what I mean? Every mistake, every uh, win, every challenge, every loss, everything that comes through with running a business and being. An independent label with independent artists who do their own craft, not trying to be, you know, a fabrication of what's going on in the industry or anything like that. We we're trying, like, <clears throat> trying to break through the industry and really make a statement and a stamp and say that we're really here to stay. You know what I mean? It's a different kind of ball game and. Um, we started realizing that we needed to see opportunities and make opportunities. You know what I mean? Not only wait for opportunities or work for them. We have a right. We have a right. We of course we have a right, right. to we question the right. amount of account we servicing right. required. We have Is the whole right, right? the whole right. life. We the street saying says it's evident. More and more are getting killed. The society ripped me off my innocence. It's the whole We walk, look at how we talk, and look at what we eat. I feel the need to talk to the masses. They never saw the sun until Mandela came out. And luck has changed, but a lot is still starving. I have a mind brain, and I feel like we're tiring. I wait till the morning, every night I hear gunshot, play your brains out, leave a tears on the floor. Somebody lost the life, then the black is hard. I hear the cops still searching, and the light is tough. Now cemeteries are becoming the richest places to bury young, fresh minds at an early age. The fire stops, everybody rushing to their house. The who they say, see snakes and fakes. I won't tell a while, like the slave face, cause every now and then we deal with and quiet. We just got finished shooting that Angazi video, nigga. Just the bits and pieces of that shit, nigga. It's gonna be hot. Whoa, 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 whoa. Oh, shit, my baby. Let's God go! Damn. Go out. All these people mm -hmm. are gone now. This nigga wanna blunt. But what I'm saying is this shit's gonna be fire. It's gonna be so much fire and you niggas never miss that. Never ever miss that. I wear, I wear black skeleton coat, baby. You see the black skeleton on the pinky rings. Not even black, but you know what I mean. Skeleton. So, we heard about uh, Amped through Aki Selassie, man. Um, because essentially how we got, a, um, got to be at Amped is... Uh, we were doing the Live to Tell uh, campaign. We got a, a radio interview there in Newtown um, through Joe Luca. Anyway, so she plugged us and was like, yo, M Studios is opening up and every day there's a platform where you know you can get to meet uh, musicians, that are, the, the artists that have made it, you know. Fucking 4 a.m. nigga. Mobbing with the niggas. Yeah. Bitch ass nigga. MOB nigga. It's about to be ill nigga. This is the rough shit. This is the rough shit. Ah! These are How's that? How you feeling this morning? Fantastic. Damn, I miss that, man. Yo, so. Shit, you know Cozy Duck, this nigga man, <laughs> this nigga Cozy Duck, 
<laughs> you know, cause he's the shit, dog. You know, cause a lot of shit in life I've been like plugged through this nigga, man. This nigga came through, man. He, he was like, yo, there's a spot go so way to the, I mean, they really pull it up and see. It's like a vibe, people perform there and everything. And, you know, he was talking to us, dog. We were just having a little chat, you know, um, a little protective chat between the homies. <laughs> Wondering what the f this is? I'm T Fix, the lyricist, reporting live from the west side, the best side. And my album Bow is about to hit the streets real quick. And this is something catchy but very controversial. Something catchy but controversial is highly addictive and expresses extreme creativity and undeniable awesomeness. Bow by T Fix, the lyricist, will have bitchings on the floor bleed. If your cop bleeding as a result of the Bow album, please consult with the realest niggas. Must be a bitch. Black skeleton code is not responsible for any people who may catch feelings as a result of the extreme rawness as well as the realness that expressed by T Fix, the lyricist. Bow, always the right choice for you. Hey, Fix. Show of it. King Date. Yeah, I got you. Yeah, it's a it's a it's a young album. Yeah, I mean, yeah, the album is finished. Uh, it got mastering stage. Wow, ka. Seriously, man. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Two songs done. Holy remix album. Yeah, it's done, man. Mastering stage. The new guitar shoot that Doki. All right. Also, guitar release a single M on top. Okay. Yeah. Yes, man. Yeah. Yeah. We've been out here yeah. Yeah. doing a lot. So, I just want to talk about some of the campaigning we did. Alright. Okay, like a bit of a bit of activations. You know. So, um, around the beginning of you know. One of the big activations I had for, for for promoting Bao. It was around this last year, 2020 September, right? Like, or around there or before that. Well, actually, I'm not too sure about the month, but it was during the 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 resurfacing of the whole gender-based violence thing. And at that time. I don't know, we just, you know, wanted to like really blow up the internet with our work, you know. So, to cut the long story short, we, we, we had uh, a lot of campaigns planned, you know. We had a lot of campaigns planned aimed at tackling this whole gender-based violence pandemic that we, have, we are having in South Africa. We believe that this Black Love Movement would be able to help us, you know, tech and the whole GBB thing. And this was the logic. So, you know, it starts with the whole concept of self-love, you know, loving yourself, healing from your traumas. We all know that a lot of the men that, you know, do a lot of this shit are people who are who aren't healed from you know, a lot of things that happened in the past. It was aimed at, 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 at like people that look like me, you know? Black men, usually young black men. Mm. 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 Ah, ah, ah. <laughs> 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 well, no, man. <laughs> I know, I know, I'm gonna rub a lot of underground, nigga. Oh shit! Oh yeah, baby, we're about to tie shit, nigga. 
Production, you know, I was with my nigga Fix. Um, trying to like build something really good that can last, something that's, you know, that can connect with people. But most importantly, something that we can bump on a regular day, you know, like bumping our own music. So, Fixie, Fixie had this, you know, idea of taking the music. So, uh, we had to sit like a lot of times to get it right, you know, it wasn't no one day. 
when like you sending me a playlist of tough as shit you want, man. It took years for this shit to happen, you feel me? So it's in the real tough coming at you live. Relax, get it to the cold, when the fuck is about to get it real live. And uh we up to death, we up to death, I can't fuck with you. Niggas gon' fuck when we after death. Let's go, niggas gon' fuck when we after death. Niggas gon' fuck with me 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 after death. Once we get, we got the music stuff going on, like 2018. That good, good thing now is the little record, I mean, right? 2018. Man, once we started, we never stopped, man. So now we got the package. We got the full package. We got the hit job for the full package. So the full package contains like, you know, the hood shit. The hood shit you can bump on the day to day. It contains, you know, the type of shit you could bump with your lady, you know. It got some real love in that. And I had some conversation, but yet the shit I had been home. Talk about it with some time, some proceeding. 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 Niggas ain't fighting no more, so we got the rebel songs, man. We been fighting all the way through the album, man. Yo. Let me root to these niggas Back, 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 stay back, bitch niggas Burn the telly, so the telly for some bitch niggas A lot of which niggas niche gets this quick Digging up a garden like I'm planting a flower But I'm looking for a treasure sacrifice and for survival I'ma have it all, baby, all in good 